Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. It was just so fun. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Awesome. Hey, Jay. Yeah, this great new listing we've got, it's a, a Cape Cod. Uh, it's right over there by the, uh, the Salt Lake Country Club, uh, over off 24th South and 23rd East. And as you see, it's a, a be beautiful Cape Cod style here. Yeah, very. This is uh, the country club. That's one of the best country clubs around in this area. Super desirable. You're right there in uh, Sugar House. And as you can see, this is a beautiful property and uh, it just looks great. Yeah, it's uh, so it was designed and built by the, the owner. He's an architect, uh, well-renowned architect, Will Conley. Uh, as you go inside, you can see the home was actually built in a pod style. And what was done there is it basically gives the maximum amount of windows and access to all the outdoor living spaces. Yeah, and you can really see that all that light is just coming in and it's just a, I mean, this is a standout and a masterpiece, really. Yeah, a big double island, a commercial oven, commercial refrigerator. It's got a butler's pantry and a huge, large, oversized pantry. Uh, great for any entertaining space. Uh, again, you can see all this light and bright open uh, windows. It's just, it's just stunning. Yeah, very nice, uh, spectacular. I just love all those views of those windows and everything we're looking at. Yeah, uh, you can see all the coffered ceilings leading into the master here, the vaults again, all of it designed to, to incorporate and be able to pull in as many windows and, and really feature the architecture. Yeah, it's really neat, unique. I've been back to Boston and seen these properties. They are just, just absolutely be beautiful out on the Cape there. And this looks just like it where you see all this light coming in and just really, they've, you can see all the craftsmanship in this property and what they put into this. This isn't something that somebody just put together. There was a lot of thought put into this. Yeah, it's got its own little uh, master wing here for the makeup counter and large walk-ins closet. Here we are in the uh, the office. Lots of bookshelves, built-ins, yeah. all that all around. Yeah, really nice. And you can see you can walk right onto your deck, and you've got your hot tub right there, and all those big mature trees. Yeah, and going upstairs, uh, this is where a lot of the living space is. There's a large uh, craft room slash sewing room with all the built-ins and counter space, and, and uh, ensuite bathroom right there. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, really nice use of it. You can tell all the quality craftsmanship that they used in this and the really nice colors. Very unique. You don't see this every day, that's for sure. No, uh, as you see, the colors they've chosen, it, it kind of fits right in with the style. It's like it was dropped right here, you know, from the Hamptons. It's, you know, all the, all the blues and the greens and the purples, it's just, it's all been de by design. Yeah, and that if you look at that paint, if you go to the paint store and you look at regular paint, if you go and buy the real premium, premium stuff, it costs about three to four times as much money, but you'll get colors that look like that. And it's a very reflective, but it's a real balanced reflective. It doesn't just show where, where light hits and it actually disperses it out and it's really unique. And you can see that's what they used here. Absolutely, and heading down to the, the lower quarters, big family room with a billiard space. It's got a wine cellar. Uh, you'll see it'll actually lead in. Uh, it's got kind of a maid's quarters or a, or you know mother-in-law little apartment that's off to the side. Um, exit out to the exit out and its own exit here. You can obviously have its own kitchen and and great living space. Yeah, very nice. It's so nice to have that extra access. It looks like we're down the hall and there's more bedrooms here. Yeah, uh, plenty of bedrooms and storage. We've actually got you know again another bank of. of a bunch of book storage, uh, bookshelves, and then a real nice workout room. Uh, they've uh, they've incorporated the the through the hallway there more windows, obviously to come off the 
the outdoor lighting so it doesn't feel like a hallway. Yeah, really nice work. And so this is a big house, isn't it? Yeah, it's about 8,400 square feet. Uh, yeah. and it doesn't doesn't feel like that in any part of it. So it's, it's very warm, very comfortable. Uh, it's just really well thought out again, the way that they did all these different pod spaces. Yeah, now we're in the backyard. Job. Yeah, this backyard is just amazing. And this is where it kind of brings in where you can bring that outside, inside, and all those big mature trees. And of course, this area up there in, in Sugar House is so super desirable. Yeah, you can see all those Sugar House big mature trees. Again, every one of the spaces has its own kind of architectural feature, window, access into the space, and you know, and here's your hot tub. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a spectacular home, very unique, a really super desirable relate, or location, and it's right on that really nice golf course. Very, very nice. Okay, Kelsey, for this one, we're headed out to Twilla and there's a lot of excitement. This is the next boom town. This is where we're expecting a lot of appreciation, a lot of building, because it's the next place to develop, right? Yes, and right now we are in Grantsville City and this home is under construction. It's about 75 days out from completion and now we're just gonna show you about the finished product. So the idea is we're gonna look at the lot and we're gonna show you an example of the house that's gonna be finished out on it, right? Yes, so colors and options may vary a little bit, but this way you can just see the features and the standard features that this builder offers on these homes. Yeah, and you can tell by the outside, he's got a lot of upgrades. This is a, this is a nice little property. Yes, and so this is our Rambler style. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. And as we're walking through, you can just see how beautiful this is. You got the railing, the banister, you got the naughty alder cabinetry, beautiful fireplace, and then three tone paint with cam lighting everywhere. And so what's really nice about GTM is their their models are basically all the standard features. So where a normal builder, you show up and you look at the model, you love it, but then the end product, everything's an upgrade and it costs grundles more money. The idea with here is it's all included. If you see it, that's what you're getting. Correct, yeah, that's exactly right. Of course, you can change the style and design and all that kind of stuff in the design center, but this, these are the standard feature, which is, is so beautiful and, and really tastefully done. Yes, no, very great workmanship. The quality is there. And as we keep continue walking through, all your appliances are included as well. So you even get the fridge. So there are no surprises, which is so nice in building. And one of the other nice things is he's really quick on building homes. If you want to build another home, how long does that take? You're at 90 days from start to finish. Which is amazing. And so you got all the features, you've got all the design work and, and take a look at the quality of the construction. It's really, really nice. Yes, no, these are beautiful homes and we got many more uh, floor plans you can choose from. And also we got six different communities. So we got lots going from 0.14 all the way to one acres. So lots of flexibility too, depending on how big a lot you want and the colors and styles and all the standard features are there. So it's a, there's no surprises, lots of flexibility and a quick turn time. Yes. Yeah, which I love it. And, and this, is, this is an area, it's a great place to be because we're expected to see a lot of appreciation there's still some real good values out in this area and with all the freeway access this is one of the few areas because the way our mountains are kind of are on each side of the valley there are very few access at points like you can get up to Park City but you're going higher but this is one of those access points where you can get out to some level land and be able to build yes and that's exactly why we're gonna see a lot of appreciation going out there real quick access into Salt Lake or North Salt Lake into the airport but and so you get good values but you're still real close to everything yes so let's talk about some of the upgrades because obviously the upgrades are huge on this house what what would be an upgrade on this so what's really great about this builder as you see we're in the basement now and his new standard feature is a tankless water heater so very green energy efficient and even when you're going through the garage as you see now it's fully insulated painted and trimmed yeah, and all those three-tone paint and those beautiful cabinets in a really good location with some beautiful views. As you can tell, I could see why somebody would be really excited and this would be a really good opportunity. Uh, if our clients will let us, we would love to meet with them every year to review the coverage that they have and see if there's any changes that have happened in their life, which happens quite often year in and year out. There are a lot of times people 
have either never met with their agent or rarely meet with their agent. And so things happen and things change and things fall through the crack and then they're not covered. And we like to avoid that by meeting our clients as often as they're willing and getting to know them the best we can. Yeah, and I know personally, I had insurance with somebody else before and I had never had them even call or wonder about what's going on. And sure enough, I change over to you and we go over and figure out that I'm still paying on some boat that I don't even own anymore. Yeah, exactly, which is a common thing that happens. That's yeah. why we try to avoid that. Yeah, so going over once a year is super important. Yeah, very much. It helps save a lot of money. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. So Sheldon Academy Mortgage has got some really cool programs if you're trying to buy a house with no money down, right? We do. We have a lot of programs, no money down. We have grant programs. We have where you can borrow the down payment as a second mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about it, there's one that's a conventional with no mortgage insurance. People have this fear of I don't want to pay mortgage insurance. Yeah. And they buy in, get in the house, and it has no mortgage insurance. Really? Uh, yeah, it's a great product, conventional. We have FHA products, tons of different options. Yeah. Uh, the, I think there's a myth out there that just because you're not a first time home buyer that you can't buy with no money down. We actually do have a product that allows you to do that. So if you sought, sold a home and you're wanting to take your equity and pay things off, doesn't mean you can't buy with no money down. Hey Sheldon, we're headed down to West Provo here and believe it or not, this is West Provo is where I bought my first house. Oh, well, there you go. How about that? That's awesome. And so it wasn't too far away from this house, but these houses, take a look at this single family home, beautiful. And the big thing that's going on in Provo right now, it just came out in Forbes. This is a top five place in the United States to live. Absolutely. Yeah, we see that all over the place, articles and articles on it. That's right, because of the tech boom and what's going on. But I recently read a report that said they are expecting within the next however many years, a million people moving into Utah County. And you, and if you can imagine how many people that is, if you think about taking all the people in Salt Lake and moving them into Utah County, that's what we're looking at. Huge growth. Yeah, it's amazing. Technology boom. It's like San Francisco back in the early 80s when computers were coming out. That's what's going on down there. And so when you talk about a property like this and the appreciation, just look at the freeway system and the skyscrapers are going in. Skyscrapers, freeway, massive build. And now you look at a property like this that you can get in. Let's talk yep. about. Now we're looking in Provo and we've got really aggressive pricing on this. We're, I mean, this is just about anyone can afford this house. But if you're thinking about renting, why would you rent when you could get a beautiful home like this, right? Yep, absolutely. And with this price point, it's so low that it's most first time home buyers, no money downs, uh, grant programs, and then a really good product, 3% down where you can use your, use your roommate's income or a brother and sister lives with you. They don't wanna be on the loan or they can't credit whatever issues, but we can use portion of that income to qualify. This is the perfect house for it in the perfect situation. If a million people are moving in, that means appreciation. How many times we always figure it out afterwards? Yep. We know what's coming. There's yep. no, listen, you can see the sky. When they're building up in the air, that means the land becomes so expensive, they literally have to move up. Yep. And when you get a new downtown that's coming in and you get these beautiful properties and Forbes talking about it and you see all the technology coming in and you got a nice, beautiful property like this that's ready to move in, you know, 22 square feet with five bedrooms, it's got two baths in there it's on a nice little quiet street super clean this is a place you should because i guarantee if we look at ourselves right now 10 years if we look 10 years in the future we'll be thinking i should have bought every one of those properties absolutely and this move in ready just a perfect location yeah and provo tons of expansion look at the nice little backyard you can see the mountains a little smoky today i don't know what happened there but uh look at the nice little backyard and for i mean under 350 what are, you can't rebuild this house so that means appreciation
Okay, Sheldon, we're headed out to beautiful Layton. Take a look at this house and look at the backyard. You don't have any neighbors in the backyard. Love it. And the trees, mature shade. Yeah, you can't. I mean, Layton is a beautiful area and you get these mature trees, open background. You got a single family home that's real reasonably priced. And you're going to look, it's just super clean, really nice location. It's on a nice, quiet street. And this is a property that somebody's going to really love. We need more of these. The problem is we can't rebuild them because by the time you try and rebuild this house, you're going to get into 450 range. And so these are really, still really good deals. I agree. It's beautiful. Yeah. Really nice as you look inside. Really nice. Uh, you know, a little dining area and uh, the kitchen's very nice. But you know, the big thing on these houses, and we talk about it's always the financing. And so, I want to, before we talk a lot about the house, I want to talk about because there's a lot of creative financing and ways to buy a property like this, right? Absolutely. This price point is so good for first time home buyers. Mm -hmm. We have no money down programs, grant programs. But really, a big program that's been pushed recently for us is a 3% down program where a lot of time people don't buy because of credit problems or income problems. And this program specifically allows you to use your roommate's income um, that's lived with you, possibly a spouse that had a bankruptcy or not very good credit or their hard to prove income or their citizenship isn't where they think they need to be. We can actually use a portion of that income to qualify without that person being on the loan. And so it really opens up the per there's more income coming in. Yeah, and this is totally unique, and I actually haven't heard of this before because this is a perfect scenario. There are a lot of people that fit under this. Maybe they're not American citizens, or maybe they're, uh, you know, maybe they have a job but they're paid uh, somewhere without showing on taxes. Exactly. But they can't qualify for the house. They want to, but the money's there, and so they can prove it. Or even if you have a roommate that's living with you. Roommate, uh, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, somebody that's lived and rented with you, they are going to move in the property, but they don't want to be on the loan. Yeah. They don't want to co-sign. We can use a portion of that income. Which is it just absolutely brilliant because that now opens up these property for all these people that are sitting and renting right now. And they're thinking, listen, I, I just can't buy a house. This opens up and there's a lot of flexibility, right? Absolutely. Yeah, this and Academy, is perfect for that. Academy is great because they're always looking at these unique ways of you know, buying these property. Take a look at the back of this property. Isn't this darling? I would love to be out there. Yeah, it's perfect shade. Pergola, just gorgeous. Yeah, and the VA programs out there with the military, you can get zero down loans. There's all kinds of real stuff, uh, real cool stuff to go. And this is a great property in a great location, nice quiet street and, and good loan programs. In your home, you will see many firsts. First steps, first pets, and first dates. Whether you're looking for your first or last home, you want to partner with a first choice lender to make securing a mortgage as easy as possible for you. Home buyers have relied on Academy Mortgage for customized home loan solutions and responsible and honest mortgage service for over 25 years. Make Academy your first choice lender. Forever homes for everyone. Everyone needs a home, and at Real Estate Essentials, anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deer Real Estate team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deer Real Estate Team. So Sheldon, we're out here in Daybreak. We're in a house that's around the $450,000 range. And there's a lot of people that think that they need to come in with a lot of money to be able to get a house like this. What does Academy have to offer for them? Yeah, so a lot of people think they have to put 20% down. There's this misconception. This price point is perfect for a first time home buyer, maybe somebody that bought and is the next home, you know, that price range. And we have no money down products. We have 3% down, 5% down. And a lot of those we can do without any monthly mortgage insurance. Wow. Yep. Okay, well, let's take a look at what a house in that price range looks like. So, Sheldon, here we have the exterior of the house. It's a craftsman style home. And look at that great wraparound porch. 
You know, Rachel, the thing that people most love about Daybreak is that porch, the energy sitting out in the afternoons or in the mornings. And the great thing about Daybreak that people really, really enjoy is it's walkable to parks, the schools, and there's just a lot of energy that becomes from that. Yeah, definitely. And then when you come home in the evenings, you have your front dining room for this house and you have those laminate floors so you feel comfortable at home. And look at that great vault in that family room. Beautiful. The vaulted ceiling there, as far as getting rid of that second floor, really opens it up and then it has so much light with those four windows. Really enjoyable when you're sitting there at the kitchen into the family room. Yep, and then in the kitchen we have uh, quartz countertops, we have a gas range, 42 inch cabinets. So it's a great kitchen for making dinner and entertaining guests, friends, family, whoever comes over. You know what I love about this home, like you said, is this part right here is unique, how they put the formal dining room out front and then they end up leaving this room for the kids. So they're in the kitchen and have the kids there playing and keep an eye on them. It really was thought out well. And then we go outside, we have a covered patio, so it's nice because you can be out there barbecuing with friends and family, you can let the kids play out there, and you don't have to keep everything inside in this house. It's nice, you can enjoy the entire space. You know, I like right here is how they went with the laminate up the stairs, and that's where you get a lot of traffic, and so to not have carpet was thought out really well. Yep, and then here we go into the master bedroom. Nice big master bedroom, plenty of room. You could even put chairs in there. You could add more furniture. There's a lot of things that you could do with this master. You know, what I like about this house is the size and square footage. It's, you know, it's in a price point for a first time home buyer. But the other nice thing is with the bedroom upstairs, we'll see in a minute with the kids is this is the perfect home for maybe your second home where they're starting to have kids or having a family. They're growing out of the house that they had. And right there is so cool. My kids would love that wallpaper and that my boys would just die in that room. Yeah, it's great because you can do anything with this house. It could be something where someone's downsizing, something where someone's upsizing because they have a growing family. You could do anything with those rooms. They could be craft rooms, they could be office. It could be anything that a person needs. At this size, 3,400 square feet, it's a good size for whatever point a family is at. And then here we go down into the basement. There's another bedroom in the basement. We actually have two down in the basement. And then this great entertaining space, built-in speakers. The wires are hidden behind the TV so you don't have to look at wires. You have all of this open space that you can do anything with for entertaining. Love the basement. I think there's a lot of games, movies, get together. It's so much fun. Yeah. So in this house, it's in the mid 400, so it's good for someone that is going into their second home, that's a first time home buyer. It's in Daybreak, it has everything that Daybreak has to offer. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. This week we have a type of property that has never been on this show before, Jay. This one is ultra cool, ultra unique. Yeah, talk about your long drive going out to your house. This is amazing. It is. This property sits on over 20 acres and it is the horse or ropers or cattle person's dream. It has everything a horse lover could ever want. Yeah, and it's a big home too, isn't it? It is. It's almost 9,000 square feet and again on just over 20 acres and it has a full roping arena, actually official size roping arena. It has over 3,600 square feet of, of barn space. It has a 10 horse stall barn. It has cattle chutes. It has poles ready for lighting. It has two catching pins. I mean, this house is ready for the right type of person who loves horses and loves being up in the country. Yeah, you got like a cattle dog right there at the entry too. So there nice. You go. Yeah, absolutely. It's headed inside. They kind of took that kind of feel out there being out there in the wilderness. They brought that inside. Absolutely. So it's rustic inside, but it's still very up to date and very, very upgraded, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of big space, as you can see. This is a huge master. Huge master. It's huge open spaces throughout the home. It is a three level home, and the master is located on the main level. There's multiple living spaces and a great professional chef's kitchen as well that you'll see here soon. <laughs> yeah, you can tell this is this is a really big property and it's very grand as it should be because you're going to be on that many acres, you might as well have a massive home. 
Oh, absolutely. And the homeowners and the builders on this, they went all out. They spared no expense because this was supposed to be the forever dream home. But the great thing about it is somebody else gets, this is now somebody else's dream home and they can make it whatever they want it to be. Yeah, lots of flexibility, but lots of light as well. And so getting into the, here in the kitchen, they're really able to take advantage of the natural light. Absolutely. And seeing this in person has even more natural light. I mean, this house has tons of windows, but it's still very, very private and allows tons of natural light to come inside the home. Yeah, which is so nice. Obviously, the privacy, if you're going to be a, a rancher and you want to be away from things, you know, this is what you want to be. You want to be out on some acreage and this this is just perfect. Absolutely. And you, you hit the nail on the head. This is for the, the rancher. Yeah. And That's who's going to love this home for what it is. And they put those trees out there, those pine trees that could just go along, right along with that, that style, which is so nice. Oh, absolutely. And those trees, they're very, very mature. And to replace those now for the maturity and the age and the size that they are would be tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, and talk about it. And that's almost instant equity. When you buy a property like this, you plant those and just let them grow. And on appraisals, they'll literally uh, put on an appraisal how much the value of each individual tree when you get on properties like this, because they actually do add so much value to the property. Oh, absolutely. And wait till you see how many there really are. I mean, there are over 80 mature trees outside. It's incredible. Yeah, uh, lots of big rooms as we can see here very very nice and and unique which is i you you're right when you said we've never had something on the show like this you're right we've never had anything like this good i'm glad to hear that so it continues it looks like it's got lots of bedrooms right lots of bedrooms yes this is a seven bedroom property right now and there's actually an unfinished basement that you'll see here soon that has even more space for additional bedrooms once they're finished and the great thing is there's a partially finished gun vault or safe room or theater room downstairs a couple different of those that could be turned to in, into a couple different possibilities and it's just waiting for the right person to be here and just the garage space right here is a really big oversized three-car garage with over a thousand square feet of garage square footage yeah and that's nice and that's got access right into the lower level right from there and looking out there's more of your land out there and boy this is this is really something Absolutely. So the great thing about this property isn't just the home, it's this stuff right here. Again, 20 acres, 3,600 square foot barn, official size roping arena, two catching pins, and even wells. Yeah. You know what will happen? Somebody will buy this for just the land and that barn, and they'll literally throw the house in because it's such a good deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Very nice home. Very cool.